This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Now, I wanted to do a, a thing as Gabby goes underneath the table. Uh, we don't edit anything. That'd be cowardly uh, if, you, if we don't show it in real life. But then again, that's why nobody watches either because this is the most unprofessional thing on the planet. Uh, Defense Grid, the board game. I've been playing um, the regular game on my Steam Deck and I decided when I went to the storage unit, as you saw, uh, I believe the video yesterday, um, that I wanted to go pull this out because I remember having a lot of fun with this at the other house. And, you know, I was right to pull this out. This is a lot, a lot of fun. So we're going to go down. I'm just going to show you some of the things that, that you get with this and why you might want to find this on eBay, Amazon, or whatever, because uh, I'm not giving up mine. Um, but I think you definitely want to check this out. This is just one of those games that is a little different and it really does have a cult following because I've, I've gotten some emails from people going, Hey, we're going to be doing this at a convention. We love this game. This is, you know, the end all be all of things. And uh, they're probably right because it is a lot of fun and, and does a lot of different things. So we're going to go down, just take a quick look at everything and then we'll come back, um, We'll talk about it, depending on my health. Hopefully we can get a live play in. I wanna make sure that we take care of Roger first. I, I had a real bad week uh, last week and this Thursday, depending on when you see this video because I'm trying to um, get things in here. Um, uh, I've got a procedure going on, so we'll see how I feel from there. So uh, again, just bear with me. We're doing the best we can here at the tabletop world trying to help everybody that we possibly can uh, so let's go check it out so the first thing I want to show you is that a lot of this is going to be activated on cards so I like the little gold etching here by the way okay uh, you're gonna pick a, a certain player that you're gonna be you're gonna be one of these guys and you're gonna build a certain deck and they're gonna have different levels but you're gonna be building these units okay and what they're going to do is they are going to take and fire against the oncoming onslaught. Now, if you ever played the video game, you know what I, I'm talking about here. This is a tower defense game. There's certain little boosts and things that you're going to get. And here's some of the nasty creatures you're going to run into. They're, they're flying. Like these racers, they're flying nine movement. Uh, and they can carry one core. They're going to try to get to the center, grab the core, and bring it and get it off the board. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, some of that here in a minute, but there's all kinds of different nasties. And then, uh, you know, this is a little, this is going to help you uh, keep track of all of them and so forth and so on. And they go up in levels and stuff like that. And there's certain abilities that you're going to be able to get. And this is just, just an all out, just great game. This here are special attack cards that you're going to be able to, um, you know, activate and power up uh, your your towers. And while we're talking about that, why don't we just go and show you uh, some of the towers and some of the things, how this all kinds of together, go, comes together. Because this game actually has a fantastic balance. Because, number one, you're going to be using these things here. And they're standees, okay? So this is a swarmer. And it tells you what it does, okay? Movement 7, cores 1, okay? And you're going to have... You're going to be able to put the cores on here and how much health it has on here. And as the health comes off, eventually you are going to take these off. Now, where are they creeping along? And you get a ton of this stuff. I mean, look at that. I got some of them set already. But you have extra ones here. Okay. And then uh, I want to show you. And we were talking about health and stuff like that. But you're going to be using... You're going to be using these dice and you're going to be rolling. Some of them are going to have hit symbols. Some of them are going to have blanks. So you want to make sure that you hit what you can. And I started painting these and I don't like the way they came out. So I'm going to redo these uh, a bit. And uh, I'm going to figure out how I want to do do these. Because I want them to look cool when, when we do this. Uh, also here you, you're going to have different levels. Um, as you level up these... Um, they're going to go on different stands and so forth and so on. You got 
tons of these health cubes and, and, and damage cubes and of course your power core cubes and they all just kind of fit right on the back here like so for certain units and things like that okay so uh oh, i forgot where that goes well we'll figure that out um just to kind of show you very 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 quickly and i'll just move this aside and uh, you'll get a better scope of things you're going to have tons of these double-sided tiles and this is where you're going to be building the roadmap more or less so here's your core okay and what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to protect that core okay uh well i think we can fit this here in the camera view okay and then like i said these particular units are going to be here all set and firing and they'll have a certain range so as these dudes come on here, boom, 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 they're trying to get to the power core to grab a core and then get off the map, okay? You're going to be playing, rolling dice, firing as they come by. You're going to want to try to build up your units. You're going to want to level them up. And every time you complete a wave, you're going to try to spend some money to upgrade or add different types of cores. It's a great, great game, and, and it's very underrated and does a lot of great things. Uh, the rule book is not too intensive here, okay, just to kind of show you. And like I said, we're going to be covering this. Um, it shows you the different, the, the different types of people that you're going to be and how when you are playing with an AI deck, um, what you're going to need against uh, certain people what each person does, um, uh, how you, you know, you could play one player or four players and it, it, it varies in scales. So it does a lot of really great things. Uh, different levels and things like that are going to uh, cost certain things. So as you level up your towers, um, how it works, of course, and it, it's very well written and very well put together. That's the beauty of this. It's just done superbly. And there are so many cards I haven't even shown you. I haven't even shown you all the different types of enemies. Um, but also it comes with a mission booklet. And a great one at that. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you some missions that you're going to want to do. And then what, how you're going to handle each wave. Okay. So you're going to start at wave one. Eh, there's going to be one swarmer. And two swarmer. A walker and a swarmer. And as you can see, you have to just somehow, and then you're going to have random dudes that are going to come out, and you're going to be defending the core. And as you can see, it's just so good, so good. Now, supposedly online, there's supposed to be a ton of these, these missions that you can download. So, like I said, if you can go out and find this uh, maybe on, on eBay or something like that, I'm telling you right now, this is just one of those games that you're not going to be disappointed. There's plenty, plenty of, of tokens. There's actually, you, you got some of these. Boy, I don't even know what that does, but we're going to find out, that's for sure. But you, you've got even these you can add on uh, and, and stuff like that. So you can really make some extensive maps and, and change things around. Uh, there's also different exits and entries so they can come in different ways how you're gonna you, you know go from level two to level three <sighs> tons of gameplay here it's really just up to your imagination or or, or how things go and and you can really just get a lot of playability out of this tremendous game let's go up top and 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 finish things out also comes with a nice turn order thing too on the back of the rule book that you can make a copy of uh, to help you through this. Really, really just one of those special, special games that has been forgotten. So let's go up top and get on out of here after I give my final thoughts. So there you have it. The real star is these towers. And I've got to paint more of these towers and do some things with it. Um, I didn't like the way the ones I did co had, had come out and I still have some more of the paint. Um, I usually try to keep it pretty simple uh, with that every time I play this. 
But this is a really good game, and I'm really looking forward to taking this a little farther and showing you guys even more. Uh, you saw all the missions. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of stuff that you can download. I'm looking forward to this. Um, I'm going to go to the website and get everything I possibly can for it because I believe that you can. Da they're supposed to be updating and putting a whole bunch of missions there. Now, this was a few years back. Hopefully, they're still there where I can download them and I'll print them all out and we'll pick something and we'll do something because this is one of those games that's simple enough to, to, to stream but hard to master. And, I, you know, I love the whole standy thing. I, I, it has enough balance between the the actual figures and the standees that really make this a special game. And, um, I, you know, I, I'm also, I, you know, I also got a laminate because you know i'm the king of lamination uh so i've got to make sure that i laminate a few things here so um i can't wait to show this to you again um the fence grid the board game take a look at it on ebay and, and whatnot or it, it, i haven't even looked at the site maybe they still have some for sale i don't know but um this is a forgotten gem and a good one at that until next time it's your old power on we'll see you soon everybody